Hello. I'm doing another video to show you the beauty here that will be lost when uh, the Walmart gets built. Well, this actually is going to be affected by the construction of a Costco. Uh, all these woods here are going to get knocked down as well. Uh, so it not only is the Walmart going over there, but the Costco is going over here. And uh, I just want to show you this little area here, because uh, the Costco is going to go in sort of over there and behind that car dealership. And all these trees are going to get knocked down. And these are some beautiful, beautiful pitch pines here. And it is a shame that we are losing this. And once again, uh, this is a prime example of Pine Barrens environment. Uh, we've got that sickle leaf golden aster, which is right here. And now this video is not in high definition because it takes up less space. All right. Um, I'm also uploading this video to Live Leak as well as YouTube. All right. And that's part of the reason why I've gotten back here involved in YouTube. It's not just because I wanted to do elevators. It's because the fact is there's no other voice for the environment here on Long Island. The Pine Barren Society is let us Richard Amper, whatever you want to call him, he's, you know, him, his organization basically has lost sight of what they were created to do, which was to preserve the Pine Barrens. And here's a prime example of, of the kind of stuff that or their organization was formed on, and unfortunately, they don't really want to get involved, you know, and they, they contacted me back uh, on their Facebook and said, well, you know, we are opposed to the development of the, uh, the Super Walmart and all that other stuff. Uh, we've told the town of Riverhead about it, but yet they're not going to the media, they're not making videos, they're not even going on the property and seeing what plants and animals live here. I am doing that, right? that's why I'm doing this. So, as you can see here, we've got beautiful, beautiful pitch pines. This is not the Walmart property, this is where the Costco is going to go. Uh, and it's just it's just sad, sad that we're going to lose all this, you know, it really is. And we have a nice, beautiful, clear day, and I'm going to take another video to show you. We're also going to head back onto the Walmart property to show you that. So, as you can see here, uh, just look at these great shapes here. They're beautiful. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, but uh, these are absolutely beautiful. Uh, they wanna, this is all going to get knocked down for the Costco when they build this here. I mean, look, this is the country. I mean, the Riverhead should be preserving a little bit of country, you know? And they built a lot, but it's enough already, you know? It really is. That's, what, that's why we need you to get involved, because without you, we cannot save these woods. All right? I can't do it alone. Here we have that reindeer lichen. And this is something... Now, lichens need clean soil and clean, clean environment to grow in. And that shows you that this, this land here is very pristine. Uh, and uh, that it, it has been left undisturbed for a while and it needs to stay that way. Now right, we're now heading back onto the land that the Walmart will be built upon. This will all be cleared. You can see this wand-like goldenrod over here. A wand goldenrod. It's uh, not very common and I looked it up. It's, uh, it's actually it doesn't even grow outside of the Pine Barrens. So it only grows in Pine Barrens. Uh, so this is like I said a pristine Pine Barrens environment over here that they are going to put a Walmart on. And so that's why we're making another video about this, because it is such a key issue. It is one of the biggest, I think, environmental travesties of this year, at least this recent time that we're in. Uh, and the sad fact is no one is getting involved to stop it. Uh, the Pine Barren Society, well, I've talked about them. Now, I don't... I'm a kind person, all right? You know, but, you know, when Dick Amper goes in front of the TV and says, we care about the environment, we care about the Pine Barrens, and then when something like this comes along and he's informed, and his organization is informed, as well as other organizations, like uh, Citizens Campaign, uh, Miss Adrian Espe Esposito, and they don't get back to me. They're not interested in getting involved in saving this land. It tells me something, and it tells me that they're really not interested in land preservation because this is a prime example of what should be preserved, and it's not. And that is why I do these videos. I'm doing these videos here, and I do videos in the parks too, because a lot of people just do not realize what the Pine Barrens has to offer. And, you know, the funny thing is Amper will sit in his, um, in his studio doing his video, but they very rarely, actually, 
they do not. I can't remember when they've actually gone out into the Pine Barrens and done a walk. So you have this organization that calls themselves the Pine Barren Society, and they don't actually go into the Pine Barrens. <laughs> That's just hilarious. And, uh, you know, I have a good laugh over that because, you know, they're not go actually even going into the Pine Barrens to, uh, to take a look at, uh, at the species here. You know, I mean, environmentalists with environmental activist organizations are supposed to, at least in my opinion, is get involved in issues like this. You know, you have an land that's being developed like this. It's Pine Barrens. You go, you take a video, you take pictures, you document all the plants that, grow, that are growing here and the animals, the flora and fauna you see, and you go public with it. You make a video, you write a story, you go to the media. The Pine Barren Society does none of that. They do none of that. Look at all these great shapes, huh? I wanted to show you more of the property this time uh, because uh, the last time I didn't show the complete property to you because I got so caught up in seeing that turtle and the one like golden runner. I just want to walk and give you a good overview of what we're about to lose. This is about 35 acres, which may not seem like much, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, a substantial amount of land that uh, this will all be gone. This will all be gone in a matter of, who knows, weeks, because the permission's been granted, the sign's over there uh, for the Walmart, and uh, nobody's really getting involved to do anything about it, you know? Uh, and that's, that's the sad thing of it, you know? Now, I've got to take a trail that somehow takes us back to the other end. Now, this takes us over to a power. I think we go left over here. That'll take us back to where we were. This is a little overgrown. It's all right, though. The pants are treated with permethrin. We got these beautiful pines. We got the oaks. Um, you know, this is a real, this is a real pine barrens environment here, and there are a lot of creatures that live here. This is not some, you know, vacant land as people like to call it. Well, it's just wasteland because it's vacant. No, it's not wasteland. Not at all. All right, yeah. This trail will take us to the other area where I want to show you. I See, this is a pretty large property. This is not, you know, this is a nice place. They could make it into a preserve. People could hike in here. People could bike. You know, encourage some of maybe some of the people eating and shopping at the restaurants here to get a little exercise and take a walk in the woods. You know, don't you think that's a good idea? I think so. So this trail takes us out on the site we were before. This is actually the spot where I saw the box turtle. Uh, he's not here today, but. Uh, He's probably in these woods somewhere, you know, and they're going to come in here with the bulldozers and knock all this down. <sighs> look at those. Look at that beauty. I mean, come on. Wouldn't you rather look at this than a freaking Walmart? There's a Walmart down the road. They could, they could easily improve that Walmart and leave these woods alone, you know? And, you know, look at the beauty here. I mean, just look at this area. I mean, look at these great pines. But it's not just a, well, it is always about, all about those great shapes. But there are other plants in the pine barrens, too, beside pine barrens. You have the pitch pines. You have the mosses, like these mosses right here growing. Uh, actually, see the old flower stalks. You look closely, I don't know. And a little bit of reindeer lichen. Oh, and then we got pixie cups, of course. Which you can hopefully see if the camera's focused. Uh, this is sickle leaf golden aster that's already gone to seed. And then you have mushrooms like this guy right here. This mushroom is huge. Look at that thing. I mean, we just have a beautiful Pine Barrens environment here. This is this is the best example of Pine Barrens here. This is just like a, and if you go into this spot, we're gonna follow this trail here. There's some little trails that have you know been made by people who take little hikes in here like me. Um, and you can see here's another example of that wand-like goldenrod. We've got lots of this reindeer lichen again. Lots of the reindeer focus. Let me put it in macro, maybe that's... Alright, hopefully that looks a little better. Well, we've got this reindeer lichen here, which you can see. And then we've got this goldenrod again. That appears to be the wand-like goldenrod, which I've never seen anywhere else in the Pine Barrens here on Long Island. It's not very common. Even in New Jersey, it's not very common. Um, let's get just the carpets of the reindeer lichen here. There's the carpets of it. This is like a dune land kind of environment here. Look at this. And yet this will all be gone in a matter of weeks, most likely. And you know, that's the thing. Time is running out. 
and people they don't want to get involved our Pine Barren Society doesn't want to get involved not enough people watching this video I think will get involved but it really does all count on you this is not something you could just sit on the sidelines and hope that it's going to get better you've got to really call those numbers I'll put them up again in this video contact the Riverhead town in particular because they have the power over this permit yes the permit's been granted but you know nothing is final the woods are still here and as long as the woods are still here nothing is final in my opinion and hope I'm hoping if at least if the Riverhead doesn't want to step in that that the uh, state New York State DEC that's why it's very important for you to contact them as well will step in and say you know what you can't touch this land. This is Pine Barrens. It's illegal. You can't do this. And if the state comes in, that's it. The town can just... Towns, unfortunately, are no friends to the Pine Barrens. They are often very pro-development. Even in New Jersey, the towns are always a problem. And what always has to happen is the state has to step in. Those look like uh, swamp maples over there. The state has to step in and say, hey, you can't develop this, you know? And that's just the thing of it. Here's another look at these mosses growing here. Again, hopefully the camera is focusing. You can see that. I kind of like the, sometimes non-HD can be a little better because you have a little more height, you know. So we're following this trail out. This will take us out, right, by the bus stop. Um, this is good. It's conveniently, it's nice, you know, I mean, you know, it's nice to leave, you know, leave something left, you know. Leave something undisturbed, you know, so people, you know, can enjoy this. That's right by all the shopping, you know, but people, you know, we don't really pr do enough to promote the wilderness we have here on Long Island. And that's why I'm here to do that, because, like I said, unfortunately, these organizations like Citizens Campaign, we don't have, like, if you go to New Jersey, they have a, Pine, they have a Pinelands Preservation Alliance, and they do a very good job. They, they have videos, they do a lot of stuff uh, in the Pine Barrens. Our Pine Barrens Society, they talk about the Pine Barrens, but they never go in them. So they're all talking, no action, you know? And I guess, you know, that's actually what disturbs me the most. You have an organization that says they want to protect the Pine Barrens, and then what happens? They say they want to protect the Pine Barrens, but when it comes to actually doing something to protect the Pine Barrens, going down here, documenting the plants, documenting the animals, talking about it, making a video, you don't see them down here. And that's the sad thing of it. And they have this gala coming up. And here's the thing about the Pine Barrens Society. This will really be an eye-opener for you about this organization. Uh, they, that's why I encourage anyone watching this video, don't give them money. All right. Uh, they have this big gala going on uh, in uh, Ohika Castle. All right. It's a very upscale place. Uh, it's on the North Shore somewhere around Huntington. And uh, they have this gala going on. And it costs, if you want to go to this gala... You want a ticket to this gala and get involved with the environment on Long Island, it's going to cost you $275. That shuts out most of us. So basically, they're a front organization for the wealthy. And they are not here to represent the woods or the working class people of Long Island. Um, and that's just the thing. So I just want to show you where these woods are again, and then we're going to end this video. Uh, I don't want this video being too long. I remember last time I said I wanted it to be five minutes, and it turned out to be 13. I'm sure this one will be close to that as well. You can see that's the Tanger Outlet Center over there, across the way. And uh, this will all be gone. We won't be able to look at this. We'll be another store directly across from this place. Think about the traffic. Think about the pollution. Think about the beauty that's going to be ruined. Then ask yourself why these environmentalists, so-called environmentalists, won't get involved to stop this. But well, one thing's for sure, my friends. I will be here to stop this. I will keep making videos. I will keep talking about it. And uh, when, it, when the day comes that they do bulldoze these woods, I'll show it to you and remind you of, uh, let's just say it this way, the failure of preservation on Long Island. It's a real shame. But we've preserved a lot in the central Pine Barrens, which is south of here. But, you know, every little bit counts. And uh, Mr. Amper, I have a challenge for you, Mr. Richard Amper. Your challenge, if you don't want to be considered a phony, you don't want to be considered a liar. You don't want to be considered somebody who's full of hot air. Do a video on this, all right? But if you don't do a video on this, you don't do an article on it, you don't go to the press, you don't talk about it, then we all know what you really are, all right? Take it easy, folks.